what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more the walking dead season five episode four no episode five <laughs> is here today and i have to say man you guys already know i'm enjoying this show today's not gonna be a double upload so don't expect it okay um i'm trying to get some other things done today other than some of these reactions so um so I'll definitely see what's going on. I'm looking at the suggestions and trying to figure out what I should do. But here we are. One episode you get for today. Um, taking a little break from Sp Spartacus. But we are going to start that season three very soon. Um, so don't worry about it. Meh, 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 meh. Anyways. Um, yeah. The Walking Dead. Seems like we have ourselves a little bit of dilemma at the end of episode four where Carol was rolled into the hospital where Beth was being held kind of like against her will because this lady is um, allowing these cops to rape these women. And it was such it was so good to see that guy get eaten by one of the women that he messed around with Um before that was pretty cool um but also let's see what's going to be the aftermath of this that's what we got to see in the last episode with beth also i still want to know who the hell daryl brought home who he brought home because he obviously brought someone home i don't know if it's carol or, or any of them but i don't think carol is with him but he's i guess he found somebody else but we'll see we will see okay so let's go watch this episode and I'll see you guys for the review. Wow. I would have never guessed in a million years that Eugene was lying. Good liar is the freaking under, I mean, understatement for this guy. God damn, he had me going, bro. Like, the whole show got me going. I mean, I really thought this was a real mission. There was hope. They going to try to get to D.C. Not all of them is going to survive getting there, but we going to get there. And maybe something goes down. I don't know. I was looking to the future of them figuring this thing out. The man had everything planned out. Eugene. Eugene, <laughs> what's good, my guy? Why? Why would you lie about something like this? I get where he's coming from, though, from what he explained. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get what he's saying. And it's a cowardly move. It's a cowardly move that he did. Because, I mean, now Abraham feels like he's back in that place again where he was just about to commit suicide. You know what I'm saying? Like, now you just took his mission away from him again. I think it would have been better if he didn't say anything. But he became, it became clear to him that, you know, it came eating at him. Because that's the thing about lies, man. Especially if you're around that, those same people over and over again. Like, you, sometimes you can walk away from a lie that you've been telling for years or months to people. You can walk away from that lie if you're not associating with those people anymore. But if it, if you're around those people, it will eat at you. Um, it will eat at you. I'm talking to you guys from experience because um, I'm not going to sit here and say I've never lied to anyone. You know what I'm saying? I've lied. I have lied. And if you want to be the guy to be like, I've always been honest throughout your entire life, by all means, go ahead. I have lied. I have lied to women. I have lied to friends. I have lied to colleagues. I have lied. You get what I'm saying? It's not anything life changing that I've lied about, but it's more of like to just to protect my butt. You know what I'm saying? Little white lies and stuff like that. But there's still lies. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I've never told any lies that was like, oh, the the lie made that person kill themselves or some shit like, like you know what I'm saying? It's more of like um did you go over there? Um I know I did, but I'll tell you, no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if it's, you know what I'm saying? If it's something that will save my butt, 
You get what I'm saying? Like job on the job and stuff like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Tell a little lie here and there. But, you know, still lies. You know what I'm saying? So if you've never told a lie in your life, yeah, you can always say that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to believe it. You know what I'm saying? I think every human being had li I've lied about something at some point in their life. Okay, so, you know, but what Eugene did is just on a, that's on another level. That's something I would never do. I don't think I would ever put somebody in a position like that because I was scared. You get what I'm saying? Like, is is survival and I get why he did it. But that's the thing about lies, man. As I'm saying, like, it will gnaw at you. It will nag you to the point where you have to come out the truth have to come out <laughs> you know what i'm saying so that's what happened to him so pretty much that's all you know that happened that was very surprising in this episode um i think abraham was kind of slowly losing it too um i didn't know that him and rosita was a thing like that was that came out of nowhere too like him and rosita because they never really showed that they had a relationship before i guess she just I guess they were just sleeping together, I guess. I, I don't think, maybe it's not a relationship relationship. But in this episode, they kind of showed it like it was a real thing that they had for each other. You know what I'm saying? Touching lips and, you know what I'm saying? Her dressing his wounds, having, you know, kind of sexual innuendo banter and stuff like that. It, it was, it's kind of weird. It caught me off guard. I'm not going to lie. But it is what it is. I mean, it's the end of times. People getting together. I mean, it's no big deal. I don't think it's, I don't think it's love. I think it's just, oh, she needs dick. He needs pussy. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? End of the world kind of situation. So, hey, man, comfort each other. I don't care. Um, so, um, what else in this episode? Um, whatever they, I don't know. What is, where they at right now with all them walkers ahead that's crazy man and that's the thing too like it's crazy how they show certain things in this show and you and you're like how are you supposed to get past that like him be like we do not stop we do not turn we do not go back okay <laughs> we do not go back we keep pushing forward we never stop no more detours Nigga, do you see what's in front of you? <laughs> okay, we could double back. Okay, we could double back and try to go around. We don't need this. We don't need that. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about looks like about at least a thousand walkers. Bruh, come on now. That's a suicide mission right there trying to get through. Um, but anyways, um, the truth came out and... Do knock Eugene out, man. I think I probably would have done the same thing. <laughs> I think I would. I probably wouldn't have knocked him out, but I probably would have punched him in the face really hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he, you, Eugene deserved it. He deserved what Abraham did to him. Um, knock him out. Uh, just unfortunate that he fell and hit his head face forward. That was unfortunate, but he definitely deserved to get knocked the fuck out. I would have done the same. So thank you guys so much for tuning in as always, man. Love you guys. Love you guys for checking out these videos, man. Continue to support the channel. And as always, man, it's there by Reacts. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, Terabyte Reacts is out. Peace.